course, the lure of Titanfall was calling my name. So I want to share my experiences with using the Xbox One. Before everybody's fanboy claws come out, let me clarify, I've always been an Xbox fan. In fact, since the very first Xbox, I've never had a competitor's console. That is, until the current generation. I never liked the controllers on the PlayStation. They always felt cheap and liked me, never felt really good in my hands. I've got particularly kind of larger size uh, hands. And then I played with the brand new DualShock, the controller that comes with the PS4, and I absolutely fell in love. I loved it, it felt perfect. So I started thinking, PS4 seems like a very viable option. So to keep down to decide which console to bring home to my house, of course we reviewed both here at Techno Buffalo. I decided I was gonna switch it up a little bit and see what Sony had to offer. And I've been loving the PlayStation 4 at my house. In fact, I was using it to stream pretty much everything I was watching. I hadn't turned on my Apple TV on the better part of three months because everything was running through the PS4. It worked well, everything was really quick, the quality was great. Um, streaming a movie from Netflix almost seemed like I had put in a disc, it was able to load so fast. But the battery life on the controller is really, really, really bad. As of right now, there really aren't any viable third-party controller options out there, at least for controlling media. So you got to use you know, the actual controller that comes with the console. And it's been dying really fast. So I thought to myself, self, you got an Xbox One at the office. The Xbox One has voice controls and Titanfall is coming out. Perhaps you want to get an Xbox One. I haven't really used an Xbox One much since our initial uh, review on it. I just got a software update, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to actually try it. So I grabbed all of it, came in late at night so no one could see me, grabbed all the equipment and sort of shuffled on out. Uh, and I've been kind of enjoying it. I wanted to share a few different experiences. I'll talk a little bit about the game side of it in Titanfall, but how using the console, not as a gaming machine, but for streaming. So Microsoft making a really big push for using it as sort of an all-in-one media console but not with the controller, using just your voice. If my issue with the PS4 was the battery always died, I thought it could be kind of fun to try and use uh, the Xbox One using just my voice and my hands. So over the weekends, I wanted to watch the Jobs movie, the one with Ashton Kutcher. Side note, Kutcher was actually pretty decent in it, but the movie was an abysmal mess, probably some of the worst editing I've ever seen. It was available to play in the Microsoft video store, so I thought, okay, no problem. I did all the tutorials on Kinect. I said, Xbox on. I'm gonna turn on all your consoles, ready? Xbox on. There we go. Um, it loaded, I used my hand, I waved it up, I found what I wanted, and then to launch an app on Kinect, you're supposed to push out and pull back. And sometimes it shuffles on over the next icon, you've got pins. It was about 50 50. So, okay, I, had a, I launched the wrong application a couple of times, was able to go back, but just doing this. And meanwhile, I see my wife on the other side of the room looking at me like I'm a crazy person. I'm like, I mean, you, you, look, you look silly using Kinect, there's no way around it. I will say though, it did work. And then once I was able to play uh, the movie, everything worked really smoothly. Uh, by just saying Xbox Select, you get a little green icon to show you what to say, and it really makes things easier. Being able to say Xbox Pause, Xbox Play, Resume, that kind of thing, was really easy. I didn't miss having a remote at all. Um, even with a baby screaming, my wife talking to me, and still recognized just my voice. And that was really cool uh, to see. The voice out of Connect works really, really well. Sort of the motion sensing using your hand was a little bit iffy. I think I'm going to try and use the Xbox One as my only streaming machine uh, and not use a controller at all. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's kind of fun to still talk to the console. It creeps me out that the Kinect's always listening to me and i got to leave it on my counter. Uh, but it did work as advertised. And then the real reason I want to bring it home, Titanfall. I love me some Titanfall. It used to look like an incredible game. I always love, you guys are going to know where I'm going to go with this immediately. I always love the campaigns. I love playing through a story. Uh, Joey Davidson talked about this in our Titanfall review, and you can see the link down below. Looks like you're in such a rich, rich world. You got weird dinosaur people walking in the background, you got dragons. There's so much story there, and they never talk about it at all. I would have loved to have gone through a campaign on it. You should have jumped right in uh, to the multiplayer world. Even whatever they call a campaign is still multiplayer. Uh, it plays really well. The gameplay is really smooth. The backgrounds are absolutely gorgeous. The textures are great, and the gameplay was a lot of fun. I still miss the campaign. The moral being, at least for me, this is my teeter, super tiny Titanfall review. If you love multiplayer games, if you're big into Call of Duty and mostly you play multiplayer, then you're going to freaking love Titanfall. If you like to play through campaigns, you like the story, sort of get lost in the cinematography of a game, this might not be uh, the one for you, so at least bear that in mind. So let me exhale for just a quick second, take a look at my nice hairy face and to shave, and we could thank our friends at Dollar Shave Club. I can go use one of their razors. So buying razors is kind of a giant pain in the butt. You gotta dredge the store, you gotta try and find the key to that razor fortress deal. You gotta shell out a ridiculous amount of money for shave tech that you probably don't need. My razor worked fine when I was a teenager. I don't need something that vibrates that I can use in the shower. I'm looking at you. I just don't need all that crazy technology, but fortunately there's a company that's doing away with all of that superfluous business, and it's called Dollar Shave Club, and it couldn't be any easier. For a few bucks a month, Dollar Shave Club ships amazing razors and other bathroom stuffs to your door, and the blade's just as good as really any other competitors out there at really just a fraction of the price. 
They've also got Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter to make your shave even more buttery smooth. It actually works really, really well. It doesn't have like a big, thick, white froth. It's sort of smoother, uh, almost like a cream. The moral though, try Dollar Shave Club. If you have to shave, you might as well save some time and money. In fact, you can shave time and shave money. Join now at dollarshaveclub.com slash technobuffalo. Again, that's dollarshaveclub.com slash technobuffalo. So the moral here with the Xbox One, it's an improved experience over when I first reviewed it. And this is really when it first came out. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Uh, I really, the controller still doesn't feel as good to me um, as Sony's, but I really like the clickiness of the D-pad on the Xbox controller. And I just sort of found myself trying to use it more and more. Uh, so, you know, six, half, dozen of the other, they're both good consoles. Uh, it's been fun to try and use something which is now different to me. I still think the UI on the Xbox One is kind of a garbled mess. I don't think the tile interface really works very well. Um, but, you know, hopefully they'll change that. Certainly when we saw the UI on the original Xbox 360 versus what it looked like, you know, or looks like now, is totally different. So I think we'll see something similar on the Xbox One. So kind of rambly, but just my overall impressions and opinions uh, with using the Xbox One. What do you guys think? Am I missing something? i uh, love to hear your thoughts. Leave it in the comments right down below. Until next time, I'm John Render from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you next video. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.